Hey guys, um, FFG here. Uh, we're just making a deck profile for a lot of the pre-release uh, decks that we had, at least for the top three, so people have a better idea of what to have with uh, BT13. Um, I was a little reluctant to do anything outside of first place because I got second place in both pre-releases, and I thought it was a little cheesy or a little corny if I did my own deck profile, but uh, you know, we're here, and you know, I just want to help everybody build decks for bt13 so the game can grow and stuff like that so uh my choice uh i got second place out of 23 people uh about four or five rounds now it's four rounds because i think the the pared down loss so i ended up playing alphamon uh as he's one of my more favorite digimon now and it's not really it's got all the new cards and stuff like that but the interesting part about it is that it's just I just took the old build, the Alphamon from BT9, and just updated with the new cards. And it's a little more consistent, which is kind of nice. Uh, a lot of OTK potential and stuff like that. And it's got a great matchup against Shine Greymon, which is interesting enough. That's uh, That was the first deck I played against. Uh, and then my the, my other rounds were... Uh, round 2 was King Mamemon, which was disgusting. Uh, round 3 was Justmon with the new cards. And then finally, the only deck I lost to was uh, Justmon. Not just my dog, Belfamon, Sleep Mode. That deck's nuts. Uh, the other thing to note is that I won with this... I, I pretty much won all my games that day with no Alphamon. Like, I never saw him. So I had to Evo into Oriumon and Oriukin Mode for like full value. So that was a little depressing. And I think the one time Alphamon did come out, it was... Uh, I think he came out once. Uh, actually, no, never mind. He did not come out once. I, I looked for a card, and it was two Alpha Mons, and I put one underneath my the new Dory Greymon. So I'm going to get right into the deck profile real quick just to get over with it. So it's going to be, for the eggs, it's going to be the draw one, the old one, the old Dory Mon, which is nice. Then it's going to be probably the best rookie in the deck, which is going to be Dory uh the one that you slide a card under and you gain a memory, which is great. It helps a lot with the new cards. Then we have the little Samurai, Ryudamon, Ryudamon, whatever, however you pronounce it, Ryudamon. Uh, this card's pretty cool. Um, I didn't use him at all, like at all. Like I saw him, he was in my hand, but like his Inheritable and his Surge Effect, I never used because either I just never got it or whatever. And then the new addition, which I don't think anyone's going to be surprised about, it's going to be the... Sumazarimon, which is really cool because it allows you to make up for the golden boy who got put to one. And, you know, now we're good. Now it allows me to have the OTK potential. Uh, still have it in the deck. And then we have uh, the new card from BT13. Uh, what is it? Darugamon. So this card's really cool because it just adds more consistency to the deck because now I, instead of playing eight champions, you play ten. So therefore, it makes your cool boys a little more live. And then we play the old ones, the old cards, which is the, Dur the Darugamon. And then obviously, you play the X-Antibodies. Ooh, this is like, looks crazy. Let me move, move these down a little bit. This is like less glare. So, <clears throat> so there's that. Um, nothing really changes here. These cards are just too good. Block Retaliation. And then we have obviously the one Golden Boy, which, you know, he doesn't need to come back to four because that card's Beast. And then we play three of the new ones. So this card's really cool. Uh, it allows you to get into your deck. It's a little more consistent. You don't get the protection. You just get the DP reduction protection, which is kind of like... It's pretty relevant right now because this is kind of how you win the... These two cards are pretty much how you win the Shine Greymon matchup because you just leave Alphamon out and then you just stop them from, uh, from reducing your guy and then you just kill him on the crackback. And then I play three Dexter Greymons. Uh, as this is the X-Antibody, this card has come in clutch because this is essentially how I beat the Just One matchup. Uh, go into these guys, play your thing, and then you know just start popping the level fours, level threes, whoever you need to get rid of, right? Because a lot of times what they would do is they they know Alpha Mon can pop the Just One, so they'll play the Decoy Blanc. And this plays around all their cards because uh, it just blows up a level three as opposed to a three DP one. Uh, just let me group these together and I'll get to the next place. Uh, next, we're going to go into the Megas. Uh, this Alphamon, uh, this is a new BT13. In, on paper, 
it stomps a lot of decks. Uh, it's good. It's good against Royal Knights. It's good against Belfamon. It's good against uh, Mirage Galmon. It does all this stuff. But I don't know how good it is because I never drew it. So, you know, I had to hold that. Um, and I played one BT9 Alphamon. It was interesting because I wanted it to be three of these guys. But I only had the, the one like the two of these, so I just put him in. And he came in clutch, because that's actually how I beat the Shine Greymon matchup. He only had one ultimate on board, and I de-digivolved it, and then it put him into a champion, then it went to where you can mode and blew up both champions. So that helps. And then we have pretty much the MVP for the deck, for me at least, was Oriumon. Uh, I saw him every game. I saw multiple copies. I saw all three of them, most of my games. So, you know, a lot of ultimates right now are seven costs. So this plays around the DP cost, you know, the DP, uh, the DP threshold and stuff like that. So it pops that. So it's nice. It gives you protection. So uh, Belfamon can't blow it up. Uh, if you go up against Bialzamon, you can't, you don't die to security. So that's also kind of nice. And then the boss monster of the deck, right? Like the guy who just does it all. Uh, because I drew these cards so much, I was able to swing for six checks in one turn which was very nice uh because of the sumazari mon um which that really helped a lot because there were a lot of turns there were there was i think two or three games where i was done that's it i had uh, no monster on board i had nothing and then i was able to build up and build the line which helped out a lot um then that's it for the monsters uh what i play this guy at three i don't know um because, again, I never drew it, so I don't know what to do with him. Hopefully, next time I play it, uh, I'll see the cards. So, for Tamers, it's going to be pretty pretty normal. Three UG. Um, I don't really know if I want to keep this card, because, like, I don't know what it did for me. Uh, if it gets into security, that's amazing, which I think it did once. But that's kind of it. Uh, you know, it helps with the OTK, I guess, but I don't know if three feels like too much. Then, obviously, Cool Boy, probably the best Tamer, hands down, for this deck. Uh, this lets you go, these two cards together let you go from, like, Rookie to Mega. Uh, then one Coda, just so I don't get memory choked. Uh, I played him once, and I think I lost that game, so I don't know what's going on with that card. And then the card that saved me a lot was the Black Memory Boost. Um, this is, like, everything. Uh, I think when the Trading Memory Boost comes out, I think I may just get rid of, uh, this Tamer and this Tamer and just play four Black Memory Boosts and four Cool Boys and four Training Boosts and call it a day. And then the card that like kind of just helps shut out the Shine Greymon matchup is Congo. Obviously, this is one of the best cards in the game, I think. Um, this is how I won against Shine Greymon. This is how it helped me beat Justmon. Uh, I think I also was able to beat Mamemon because I played this card, so that helped a lot. I was able to stall a turn out uh, for for Belfamon, but it didn't really matter because like I just didn't get my pieces, so I got stomped anyway. Um, a nice little thing about this deck that this card is very interesting because this is kind of what helped me win a lot of my matchups, just the security plus one, because everyone right now is swinging for two, three checks, so you have to figure out how to keep up in turn, and I think this is why I chose him over the Chikurimon, uh, even though Chikurimon just shuts down like Blue Flare, Cross, uh, Royal Knights now, uh, I used it in conjunction with these guys. At least in theory, that's what I'm supposed to do, right? But, like, I couldn't. So I think the other thing I used was just him with this card, the Oriumon. And you can get him up to, like, 15 or 16, so, like, you pretty much survive security, and they can't kill him on the correct back a lot of times because they're not big enough. Um, and, yeah, speaking of, I guess, like, my matchups, I guess Shine Grayma was uh, the weirdest one, I think, because it was game one, he played about four tamers. Uh, well, sorry, he played two tamers, and I hit two tamers in security. And then he swung, and my entire security was zero. So I just lost that game. The game two and three, I just cleared his board, and then I congoed at the end, and then he just couldn't do anything. So then that's kind of cool, because you have where you can mode on board with... Even if you don't have the security check from... Sorry, whoops. Even if you don't have the security check from this, it still gives you two checks. So... You know, inherently, you can swing for two your first time, pass, Congo, and then now they have to respond to it, and then you just go into him again, swing again, and hopefully by then you just play a monster, you know, and then you just have game right there. Uh, I guess the Mammy Man, 
I think he had five security, and I only had one turn left, but I had one of these Yuji guys up and one uh, Oryumon and an Oryukin and Sonazarimon. This was pretty much my play for for the OTK to kill him. It was literally swing for three checks, or sorry, swing for two checks twice and then kill him with a rookie and then that's kind of how you did it it's it still plays like the same old alpha mon it just has tricks to kind of protect you a little bit more from getting swung up by bigger decks but it still has the inherent like the inherent flawed effect where you can get bounced so i'm sure mirage galmon still has a really good matchup against this deck but if shine graymon is going to be the best deck of the format i think this is a good contender um i think if royal knights becomes a problem you can always just sub in uh, maybe possibly a couple of the rookies for the Chikuri Mons and see, or maybe take out the Yuji's and put Chikuri Mon at two or something like that and hope that you get it. Uh, and that's kind of it. It's nothing much else. I mean, that's kind of all it was. Uh, Belfermon stopped me. There was not much I could do there. I OTK'd them one game, but uh, the other two games I missed some pieces. He got ahead, and that rage mode is not fun. That is uh, not a fun card. Uh, even with the cards with protection, like Oriumon or or the Golden Boy, uh, Dura Greymon, the old one, uh, you know, that's kind of it. So ultimately, you can still pretty much hide and raising and do whatever you did before, and it still plays the same. So for all Yafamon lovers, you can still play the deck. And I just want to give a shout out to uh, to our guys, you know, Nick, Pete, David, all of us, all the guys at Truly Urban and stuff like that, where we play regularly. And our Discord, you know, our Five Forever Gaming, the guys who are up out there and stuff like that. And I appreciate it all. All right, guys, have a good day.